My name is Mike Wall, and I'm an assistant professor of clinical anatomy in the Faculty of Medicine and the Division of Biomedical Sciences. Today, we're going to look at the skeletal system and its articulations. This is a plain type of synovial joint. On this slide, you can appreciate the surface anatomy. The lateral end of the clavicle articulates with the acromion process of the scapula. You can actually palpate the joint on yourself or another person. You can feel the prominence of the end of the acromion process, which is the tip of the shoulder, and then you can palpate two to three centimeters medially to feel the AC joint. On this x-ray, you see the humerus and scapula, parts of which you've seen before with the shoulder joint. Now note the clavicle necromium process in the formation of the AC joint. The relatively loose sleeve-like joint capsule for this joint is attached to the edges of the articulating surfaces of the acromion process in the clavicle. A synovial membrane lines the capsule, which is relatively weak, but is strengthened by the ligaments and the surrounding muscles. Let's look at the ligaments. First, we have the acromioclavicular ligament. As its name implies, it extends from the acromion to the clavicle. The majority of the integrity of the AC joint is not resulting from this ligament, but rather from another ligament that extends from the clavicle to the coracoid process. This is the coracoclavicular ligament and is comprised of two parts called the coenoid and trapezoid, which you can see here. This is also a common site for dislocation injuries, so let's talk about how these occur. There are two primary types of AC joint dislocation, and these are further classified into six grades from mild dislocation to complete separation. The first and most common one that you may see is someone presenting with the dislocation of the chromioclavicular joint without a ligament rupture. You can have stretching, a slight tear, or a complete tear of the acromioclavicular ligament, but you don't have a tear or rupture of the coracoclavicular ligament, so the alignment of the clavicle and acromium is still intact. However, when it comes to a severe dislocation of the chromioclavicular joint, there's a rupture of the coracoclavicular ligament, and this will result in the lateral end of the clavicle becoming quite prominent and palpable on the patient because it no longer aligns with the acromion. Because the upper limb now appears separated from the body, this is often misleading called a shoulder separation. These are very common injuries in contact sports like football and hockey. The skeletal system is divided into the axial and appendicular skeleton. Of particular note in the upper limb is that the sternoclavicular joint is the only bony attachment of the upper extremity to the thorax. The scapula is not attached to the back of the rib cage by a joint, rather it's connected through muscle. You can palpate where the clavicle attaches to the sternum, as I'm sure you can appreciate this is a very strong joint. Here you can see a fracture of the clavicle. You will hear the term FUSH in clinic or ER, and that stands for fall on outstretched hands. A fractured clavicle is a common injury in teenagers, but not uncommon in adults. The majority occur at the medial two-thirds and lateral one-third of the clavicle. This injury can occur when someone is playing hockey or they get checked into the boards. And you can think about a typical skateboarding injury. Somebody falls, they reach their arm backwards with a straight arm to support themselves, and that force can go through the arm and break the clavicle. So now let's discuss how the patient will present when they have a fractured clavicle. Well, they'll usually support their injured arm with the other hand. This is because when the clavicle is fractured, it's unable to withstand the load of the arm and there's nothing left to support the clavicle except for the muscles around the shoulder. These muscles will spasm relatively quickly and not really help a lot as they attempt to splint the clavicle in place. 